Hi everyone, it's Saran here. Today we'll be going through my 10th week update in dividend growth investing. Just a heads up, there was a lot of updates. So let's cue the intro. Come on. We're back within the second week of the new year to quickly update everyone on what occurred during my dividend growth portfolio this week. If you're new here, I have two goals for this portfolio right now. This includes reaching 25k worth of deposits in my TFSA and reaching $1,000 in monthly dividend income. YouTube has also added a new feature called subscribing to channels. I suggest everyone who's watching to click that button down below and help me on my way to 400 subs. I'm actually almost there. So let's go straight into the video. We're going to be jumping into the portfolio to see the deposits, the buys, the dividends received, the worst performing stocks, and the best performing stocks within this dividend growth portfolio this week. The current balance of my portfolio is around $21,250 with around $9,750 in my well simple account and $11,500 in my Questrade account. I added a $50 deposit this week on Friday, January 7th, 2021. I bought four different stocks this week and that was Toronto Union Bank, Vanguard S&P 500 ETF, NASDAQ 100 ETF, and TSX ETF. I bought two fractional shares of TD for $14.99, as well as $15.88. I also bought a fractional share of the VFV ETF for $25. And I also bought one fractional share for $15, as well as a full share of XQQ ETF for $123.75. Lastly, I added to one of my biggest positions in my portfolio, VDY, by purchasing a stock for $44.29. Fortunately, this week, we got a few dividend payments to help recuperate the cash that was spent overall. This includes a $3.27 payment from Telus Corporation and a $0.15 cent per payment from XQQ ETF, which totals to $3.42. Now, we'll be looking at the three worst performing stocks and three best performing stocks this week. The three worst performing stocks are Hive Blockchain Technologies with a 14.20% market loss, DMG Blockchain Solutions with 6.17% market loss, and Alimentation Kushtar with a 6.13% market loss. The three best performing stocks are Alibaba with a 9.28% market gain, CIBC with a 6.37% market gain, and Royal Bank of Canada with a 5.42% market gain. Now that you know what happened this week, join me next week for more videos. With that information, make sure you push that subscribe button down below and drop a like. Remember to click that notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. It's been Investing with Saran, and join me on my next video. Bye for now.